back and we are gonna hit better this this time <laughs> this episode because we did not do well in the last one of hitting what's my batting average 315 still we haven't hit a lot of home runs in a while power swing for a hit okay i'll power swing i don't i don't do a lot of power swinging but we'll do it kyle hendricks is on the orioles what the <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Alright, Kyle. Come on, Kyle. Throw me some meatball. He throws so slow. I'm not getting in a hit with a power swing. This is a terrible idea. Hmm. Oh. Oh, what am I doing? I'm the worst. Power swing is not my thing. I just do the A swing, whatever it is. Middle, mid, mid swing, I don't know what you call it. In between power and contact, I guess. Why am I jumping here? What? Why would I jump there? Just throw it. <laughs> what the? What am I doing? Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Swing and a tapper. And it goes just foul. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Two outs. And there he goes. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. to center under it falls it in to end the inning Padres leave one they trail things here to nothing Go out. and welcome back to the ballpark bottom of the six and here's the first baseman Ryan Mountcastle ground ball right side and that one handled the throw to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the now sixth. Batter, the designated hitter, Ryan O'Hara. Now batting, the second baseman, Here we go. Joe Fitt. To third, Westberg. And there's two down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. So two away with nobody on. Next up is the cleanup spot for the Padres. Joe Fish. Swinging a foul straight back. They're down to their final strike. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Bounce to the left side, oh, that's and that's just foul. The Padres down to their final strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. And the right-hander deals. Fights it off, you'll see another. That one misses, ball. and the count one and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where pitcher breaks his bat and pops it up. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Orioles come in here and finish off a three-game sweep. This was pure domination at home. Huge sweep. And now you go on the road. The flight's going to be very enjoyable. Get into the next city. Get a nice...
And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you game one of a big four-game set. It's the same. Here's some real power at the plate. Joe Fish. He's someone who quickly made a splash at this level, Chris, a former rookie of the year. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And that is cut on and missed. Slider right there. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Hard hit left side. They get the force, and the inning is over. The batter, the second baseman. Love it here at City Field. You know, it replaced Old Shea Stadium back in 2009, and Chipper Jones was really sad to see it go. It's actually the third home of the Mets since they started out at the Polo Grounds for two seasons before Shea was finished. Broken back, ground ball to second. And that one handled on the run, sends it over to first on target. He got him. Nice play. Runner on at first with one gone. And here's the first baseman, Jared Walsh. Hit on the ground, might be two. Kim. Off balance speed, there's one. On the first, double play, and that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're through five. It's the Mets seven. Yeah, the, the batter, the second baseman, Joe Fish. First pitch, wow. not close. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Bogarts over at second. Machado over at first with one away. On the ground, could be two. Feeds the second, out there. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. Make it six shots. Now it's the second baseman, Joe Fish. 0 for 3 with three ground outs. That one fouled off. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Now this is in the air down the line. Marte going after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Starling Marte up to hit. Kicks and deals. To third. And it finds its way through for a hit. The throw in. And he's in there. And a run comes in to score. Well done. Drives in the run. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the end. Well, a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. Joe Fish will hit next. The second baseman. Joe Fish. That one, one misses, and, and that is ball one. In the air, out towards right center. Marte makes the catch, and that is that. One out, base is empty. Here's Brandon no Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo. One down, base is empty. Right side, Fish. Tosses to first, two away. Batting fifth, the designated hitter. And now, Jared Walsh. Kicks and fires. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first. Walsh retired. Play made, that ends the inning. Met strand one will move to the and the first offering is not close.
Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. On the ground to the left. Beatty to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. So they pick up a run on two hits. They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. And first offering is fouled off. Fish measures six feet two inches, 210 pounds, and he's the reigning National League Rookie of the Year. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work ball, with out there on the mound. Way inside. Ah, I may have got enough of that, but I may get it. That's back there. I did. Let's go. We're back. We're all the way back. <laughs> Haven't hit a home run in a while. Home run of the season, and they cut into the lead. It's six two. He really needed that swing. He hasn't been. So first yeah, he has been good. I, can, I, told, I heard what the commentator was going to say there. <laughs> two on, one not out. been good. We're not getting two on that. Yeah, we're not going to get one. We muffed it. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Brett Beatty up now for the Mets. Traffic on the bases with two already in to score. Last half of inning number five. Bounce to the right. Fish gets it to first inning over, and it could have been worse. One out, runner at second. Next up is the cleanup spot for the Padres. Joe Fish. Ground ball up the middle. McNeil gets it to first. That's the second out. Back here at City Field. Here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. On the ground, right side. Throw over to Cronenworth. One up, one down. Man at second with one away. Here's the second baseman, Joe Fish. He's already homered in this game. Mm. And first offering is fouled off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Makes the grab, two down. His first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. Four hours and one minute. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you that you. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. Right side, hard hit. Throw over to Cronenworth, and that is the inning. Mets leave one, scoreless after one. Back here in Queens, and the batter now, Joe Fish. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base and slugging, too. Lifted in the air, right field. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Nice job going the opposite way with it, letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Sends it to Walsh. One out in the second. 
batting fifth, the left fielder. Now it's Randy Arozarena. Next offering popped in the air, right field. He's there, he's got it. And there's two down. Stone Garrett, the next up for the Padres. At the belt and fires. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, Boo. The last one wasn't even close. First and second, two down. Jason DeLay, the next up for the Padres. Two outs. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Okay. On the ground, out to short. And that is the inning. Padres leave a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the fourth. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Joe Fish. And he deals. Headed down the line. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. And here it comes. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. No doubter. Here we go. We're back. Oh, bang. That went way up there. Woo. A gigantic blast. Okay. His 14th of the year. And they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. And we're back, ready to go, bottom four. Now it's the right fielder, Starling Marte. On the ground, Fish. Slings to first, leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Now that second base. Go, Fish. Boots it. But they get the out of first. I did notice my speed went down. I was not 88 speed, and now I'm only 72 speed with this. So that kind of sucked. He's already homered here in this one. Ah, it was too early. That would have been nice. It's a big at bat. It's a big at bat here. Come on, me. Single is all we need here. Ah, dang. And these are perfectly placed. Almost. Almost perfectly placed. It's a foul ball. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Mm. Fights it off. He'll see another. The pitch. Oh, he almost got me there. I looked way up. And it was not up. <laughs> I thought it was a fastball up. Two outs. Dang. It softly on the ground to third. That sucks. Out to escape a bases loaded jam. Back here at City Field. And now here's Jeff McNeil. On a line. Here's the throw. But he's in there easily. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in the mechanics. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. I can't believe to lose those.
Our record's not very good, is it? Next to hit, Joe Fish. One ball, no and a pitch out, but nothing going on. Senga, a former All Star. He features a four seam fastball, a fork ball, a cutter, a slider, and occasionally mixes in the slur. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Right there is Loriano. Makes the grab for the second out. Batting four, the third baseman. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. Man on second, two down. On the ground, right side, Fish. Whips it to first. That is the inning. Mets strand one, scoreless after one. The battle, the second base. Gets him to chase after that one. Sometimes Your being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. One one. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Nobody out, runner at first. Runner on the go. Cut on and miss. Throw to second and great jump. Well, we all know this team is struggling right now, and sometimes you just got to do something different to generate some offense. A little more aggressive right there to put the pressure on the opponent. We'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for this team. And a pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Next pitch is outside. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Got him swinging. Bottom of the inning. Jeff McNeil stands in. The second baseman. Yeah. And he grounds one to the right side. Throws to first. One up, one down. The batter, the shortstop, Francisco. Up next to the Padres, the second base. Fish measures six feet, two inches, 210 pounds, and he's a former rookie of the year. Right through there for a strike. Almost One got him. One down, base is empty. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Nimmo falls it in for the out. Two down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the play. Joe Fish digs in now. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. Alvarez hauls it in to end the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Joe the Fish. The second baseman. Joe Fish. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Big situation right here. You got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run. Question is, do you send him and get him in the score? Hit hard. That gets through. Loriano hustles to get it in as the tying run is forced to stop at second. Everything came together for him. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits the up the middle, even on the ground balls. Base. So a nice job Manning. to use that big hole and the get himself ball. a hit. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. Diaz is just one strike away. Now a fly ball to right center. Sizes this one up. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets have won four in a row.
This was pure domination at home. Huge sweep. And now you go on the road. The flight's going to be very enjoyable. Get into the next city, get a nice meal, get settled in at the hotel. Welcome in to Chase Field in downtown Phoenix. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the San Diego Padres and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Stepping in for San Diego, Joe Fish. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues and quickly at this level. Oh, now this one's blasted deep. To Here we go. No doubt. Right off the bat. Okay. It's way and out of here. A gigantic blast. And they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. 15th home run of the season. Up next to the Padres. The second base. Let's go. Go. Okay, I'm third, one out. Come on, don't drown. Just as long as I don't ground and double play. Ah, needed that one. That was a ah, <laughs> hanging cutter. I would call it. That might get the runner in. 74 speed. Yeah, well, it's way deeper than I thought, actually. Take that. He's in on the sacrifice fly, and they're up by three. So many times that one gets out of here. Back to the top of the lineup, and here is Geraldo Perdomo. Drops a bunt down the first base side. Cronenworth. He steps on the bag, out on the sack bunt. There was a time where that sack bunt was just ho-hum, very basic, but is increasingly difficult as it's become to get bunts down in the big leagues. Nice job right there. Here's Alex Verdugo. To the right side. Sends it to first, and that's the third out. Now that second base. Oof, gonna hit me. Of the year, just 19 years old. And he was drafted in the eighth round in 2023. I shouldn't have even. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Vision 77. I'd like to get that up. I wish it was a good way to get that up. Ah, don't play. There's one out to Walker, and that's two. If you blink, you might miss. Alex Verdugo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Roll to short, possible two ball. Kim tossed to second. Back to first, and that is a double play. Oh, He's play. So good and come across the back. There we go, Shot base down. hit. That's through for a base hit. They never go first to third. Never. My guys never go first to third. Everything came together for him. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So two down. So digging in now for San Diego, Stone Garrett. And a pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. In comes the run from third to add on, and they take a three-run lead. Well, he comes through court. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. The batter, number eight, second baseman, Kevin Biggio. 
Bounce to the right side. Whips it to first. That ends the inning. Diamondbacks down quickly, and they're still doubled up. It's six to three. Now it's the second baseman, Joe Fish. He's already homered in this game. They booing me? Okay. Oh. Swing and a miss. <laughs> they got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Here's the 0-2. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. Stays alive. Right handed reliever. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Jones ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Up next to the Padre, the left fielder, Randy. But when you have a losing streak this long, not just your fans are aware of it, the entire city and everyone around the league as well. To snap this thing and get back in the win column, a huge relief for them to start in the winning ways that they had before and perhaps extend the win column. We did that. Streak. All right.